Hi, and today I'm going to show you what a superconductor is. But it, superconductor, you may did it in college, which should be a chemical institute to do this. You may heard of superconductor in co college, and when you first heard it, you think, you think like, like when, when you do like the conductors and conductors and insulators and semiconductors, superconductor means it conducts a lot. Actually, it does con conduct a lot, okay? So, a superconductor actually floats a magnet. It's true. Yeah, because I'm gonna tell you how to make it if you're a chemicalist. If you're not, then you gotta be one. Yeah. Well, I'm just a seven year old, I'm not a chemicalist, but a video taught me how to make superconductors. Okay, so this one is a YBCO superconductor. It's a specific one. Mercury itself could be a superconductor, okay? It's a specific superconductor, mercury, okay? So YBCO superconductor is, you guessed it, four elements. The Y, the B, the C, O. Actually, it's not their name, their atomic symbol is not Y, B, C, and O. It's actually Y, B, A, C, U, and O. Okay, that's the actual atomic, what's it called? Oh, atomic symbol, okay. Well, I know about elements, so I'm not a chemicalist right now, still. Okay, so there are actually nine or eight, I forgot how much. There's eight or nine ingredients are going to be yttrium nitrate, copper nitrate, barium nitrate, water, oxygen. Well, it's an oxygen tank. Uh -huh. It was nitric acid, so ammonium hydroxide, um, citric acid, and wait, that's 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 eight. That's eight. Okay. So I was correct. Eight to nine. But there is a catch. There is tools not included in my topic. Okay. So like a beaker, which is actually on the first step. So the first step is get the beaker. Okay. Wait, I forgot to tell you. On the oxygen take, it's pretty simple. If you do not have an oxygen take, your chemical lists, then do this. So get a bottle of water with the cap. So this is your things. A bottle of water and one of these translucent tubings. I'll show you one. Now, where's that darn tubing? Okay, I found it. So these are going to be the tubings, okay? But actually, they're going to be like three meters instead of just seven inches. And this, it, these are two sizes. I know this one is broken there, but it has to not be broken. So this one is a four millimeter. This is a two and a half millimeter, okay? So those are the size range. Well, up to actually five millimeters. So, you might want to connect them if they're flexible, okay? Like, if you don't have a three meter one of these, but you can seal these and put another one there, and then, then extend them to three meters, and then there, yeah, that's it, okay. Okay, so step one is this, get, the beaker, which I just said like four minutes ago, no, three, two minutes ago. So you get a spinner, it's like this big, like one inch, a spinner, 
put star in it first, and then the the three eight point three grams of yttrium, then put copper. That is seventy eight. 72.48 grams, not 78 point something grams. 78.48 grams. And then barium, it's gonna be 52.27 grams. But I'm just saying their name, not the nit nitrates and stuff like that. So j don't change it to just normal barium. It's still nitrate and copper, copper nitrate. The trium, the trium nitrate. Okay, just don't do plain old barium, copper, and the trium. Okay, you gotta actually do the nitrates. Okay, the oxygen is the only one that is not nitrate because it's a gas. Yeah, it's a gas. How do you make nitrates out of gas? I know that you can't make a nitrate out of gas. No, actually, I don't know. I just think. Yeah. Okay. So then you put the citric acid, about 126 grams of it, and then put 0.02 mils of the nitric acid. I, I think you know what nitric acid is because I know chemicalists usually have acids. Okay. So then put an acidic pH thingy magical the it's like a paper dip it in the beaker it should be red which is not good it's like red. it's 0 0.23 ph not 0 0.3 ph okay it's 0 to 3 ph that's super bad it should be 6.5 to 8 okay if it's 9 you gotta start over. Okay. So then you get 225 mils of the ammonium hydroxide, but there's a catch. Add it slowly. If you do it too much, then the water will just get out. Okay? It will just spoil from for some freaking reason. I don't know why. Okay. So it turns dark. But if you put, once again, those paper thingies for pH thing, it, it should be gold or orange. That's pH 5, not good. So then you add 15.5 ml, but actually three times, but don't just do 15.5, just, don't just put 15.5 and then you dump it in with a smaller beaker. Actually, take breaks every 30 seconds. So first, 15.5 ml, put it in, 3 seconds later, 15.5 ml, put it in, 3 seconds later, 15.5 ml, 3 seconds, no, no, put it in, and don't wait, okay? Don't rush for this because and step in 10 to 20, actually 20 is just playing around with it. It's about playing around with it. So 10 to until playing around with it, which is, I don't know if I if it was 20. So step 10, you gotta be patient. Wait, actually it's not step 10, it's somebody else. Okay, and actually you gotta be patient for a long time over a day. By the way, so I don't care if you do that. Okay, so what the heck? Okay, so this step four again, the yttrium, barium, and copper nitrates are now hydroxides, but don't give up now because it's okay. It's okay. Don't just get the yttrium, barium, and copper nitrates back. It's okay. It's okay. The hydroxides should be there. Okay. So don't change. Don't change it. Yeah. The pH is now 6.5. Put that thingy in it. 
It should be golden and yellow. That's good. That's good. Okay. So now, step five, get one of these things. Yeah, these things. I don't know what they're called. Plungers. No, those are for peanuts. So get those and scoop a small amount of the YBC. YBC with ammonium and citric acid in it. And then if you put it near the Y and it's queer or translucent, it's okay. It's okay. It could be either. Not queer. It is not okay. You just gotta mix it in more. Okay? And then wait more. Okay? So that's the first patient part. Okay? So then you get step six, which is now in the way. Well, step five, cool. it's supposed to be not cloudy. Yeah, okay. So then, step six, you get all of your fluid that you made in that beaker, get a coffee funnel, and then get a slightly bigger beaker, and then pour all of that into all of that stuff of the other beaker into the coffee funnel. Okay, there might be slightly a bit stuff in there, but that's fine because step seven is going to prove it. That's fine. Oh, that, that's just not backwards. I know it's backwards. It's back. It's a backwards. Yep, it's backwards. It's backwards. Okay. So, step seven, you get 50 to 80 ml, which is proving that that's good because you could just go to the lowest 50 ml with that other one. You could use the old one, okay? And then pour some of that from the big one into a like a seven inch beaker like in 3.5 inches on the base circle like that. And then put a hot plate device under it, heat it to 215 to 230 Fahrenheit. And then actually do, this is the reason why 50 to 80 mils, okay? Because we will repeat it 10 to 15 times if you want to make more super peppers, okay? Yeah. And also, I forgot, you can make like uh, 18 super conductors, I don't know, like around 17 super conductors if you follow my steps. You can make smaller super conductors, but this is my way of making super conductors. They're going to be strong, okay, yes. If you got a big super conductor, it's going to be pretty strong, I know this. So you wait with the hot plate still under it. Three minutes later, something weird comes out of it. And it's actually the mouse reacting with the heat with the ammonium and citric acid. So what's happening is that reaction is already started, but it's still not YBCO, it's just YBC, okay? And they're now turning into oxides and back to nitrates. Okay? So, the reaction just started when you see that tower thing. It's about gonna be a foot in the oils from our sponsor. No, no sponsor, no sponsor. So, it was like five inches for the oils and 12 inches for the toss. So then, this is step nine. So it says repeat step, as it going? repeat step eight and seven for 10 to 15 times. You guys, actually you gotta get more beakers, just do it. And you may build the factory of making that. Yeah. So 10, collapse all of those towers. Just do it, just do it because they're gonna be useless being that shape. But actually, most of it, you won't believe that most of it is there if it's blocked out like that. You won't believe that. That's why super, I super, 
Supercopters aren't just going to be an entire tower. They're just going to be play small. Like, play small. Play small. Like, and then, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's small. That's small. Okay. So, then, you combine all of it in one big beaker. Combine all of those powder in one big beaker. Get... 220 to 120 mls a day. So, preheat it to 920 degrees Celsius and add the oxygen tank oxygen tube and connect it to a, what do you call it? a, a tube furnace. Um, heat it to 920 Celsius for nine hours straight. At first, it rise up the temperature to one hour from 70 to 920. So, so you do it for one hour. So, you put three spoons, actually, not, not just 220 plus one of it. It's not gonna be 220 plus one, 20 of it. Okay, put three spoons. I was going on 220 plus down to one. Then, for 18 hours, cool it down to 70 degrees. That, yeah, that's the patient part, see? And you gotta be really patient because that part is 28 hours. But you gotta do it again, 28 hours waiting again. Yeah, on step 16, no, step 19. Yeah, it's true, it's true. So, step 14-2, which is actually just 14-1 and 14-2. Yeah, okay. So, 14-2, take out it and you get 6 form YBA2 CO3 oxygen 7-X. But actually, it's not super conductor yet. Because I saw that the video that I watched when it was six form, which it is six form, when you got that, when it was six form, it did not super enough. It did not levitate the magnet in the video I saw. Yeah, and the video was true. Okay, so, so, it should be seven form, not six form. Seven form is pretty good. That's super doctor. Six form does nothing. It just makes it fall. That's it. Okay. So step fifteen one: compress your YBCO. It's now YBCO. If its thickness should be seven millimeters, which is my super doctor. Okay. That's enough so it's strong enough. It's about that big. I'm gonna zoom it in and zoom it out until I know it's the true seven millimeters if you get your ruler up. Mom, what are you doing? Okay, I think it's gonna be that. Okay. Mama, what are you doing? Yeah, that, that's just my mom. Okay, don't mind mom coming. Wait, mom, mom's not stuck there. So don't mind the computer um, running the VTOs. Just, just yeah. listen to me. Don't listen to mom. Okay. Don't listen to my mama. Okay, I'm, I'm seven year old. I'm not gonna waste it. Okay. So, so you got. I do got something on there, but just do a one inch pellet press because. The volume of it is going to be seven millimeters, seven millimeters, not to pronounce millimeters, seven millimeters times 2.5 centimeters, which is basically one inch, but that's going to be the base circle. So the circle across is going to be one inch. The radius is going to be half an inch. Okay. Across up, one inch. Radius up. Half an inch. Yeah. That don't listen to mom's pots and pans. Okay. 
So then get a mini hydraulic press, not a big one because that will really squish the pallet presser and then make it just flatten. So you get a mini hydraulic press, okay? So, and then you crush the pallet presser about eight times or 17 and one fifth pounds, okay? So you crush it with that much, and then you do this. So then get your YPCO six form superconductor, which, which actually it's not superconductor in four, 14 two, not superconductor shape, actually. But now it's super not a state, but it's not super enough yet. So put it on a fire brick. A fire brick will make it work there. Okay. The fire brick is safe for it, but you gotta see put it put it in another area. But this one is now the R28 hours. Put it in the tube furnace that I talked about in 13 2. And then and then put this same small piece of fire brick in there. It should be a small piece, enough that it could go in there. And then repeat step, step 13, one, 14, two, 14, one, 14, two, which is step 19. And then add twice the amount of oxygen. That's the only difference, okay? This is just how it's going up our lips. Okay. So, step 20 is push the fire brick out with a rod that the volume is 3 millimeters on the base circle. And down is going to be 7 inches. Actually, enough that you can get the fire brick out and then put it in your hand. So, then. So here's the materials for the rod. Glass is a good option. That was the video. Plastic, aluminum, steel, and osmium. Osmium's the heaviest metal. Okay. So those are pretty good options too. So things like carbon fiber, um, not that much, but still good. Silver is a good option. Wood, if it's still hot, then don't do it. Don't do wood because it will say 70 degrees, but maybe it's lying. You gotta cool it to 70 degrees for 18 hours, okay? A straw, just cover the hole with white tape, and then it's good, and a pen, but the flat top, not the pen, not the thing that you write with. So, then, so, so you get liquid nitrogen, which should be around negative 220 degrees Fahrenheit, with absolute zero is 459 degrees Fahrenheit, that's there, okay. So then you get your seven form superconductor, YBCL superconductor, put in the liquid nitrogen. Now E is not superconducting yet but now it will. Put at least a 0 0.005 Tesla magnet on your superconductor. Not on the liquid nitrogen, but on the superconductor. You gotta wear gloves if, in case if you touch the superconductor. Okay? Uh, no, the liquid nitrogen. Because liquid nitrogen is very close and it can give you frostbite if you touch it. That's why it, with, solid CO2 or dry ice, okay? So, the, the magnet will actually float. So, the reason is on the earth side of this. Okay. I, I don't have a key. Okay. So the reason is, some numbers have no resistance. Yeah, 
So it will float until the, there, there's no liquid nitrogen or the liquid nitrogen is warmer and then it'll just pop down. But if you get the superconductor, you get the superconductor and put the magnet first and then add the liquid nitrogen, it'll just pop up when it's cold enough. And the superconductor is at, it floats critical temperature. So, superconductors are 99.9992% diamagnetic. That means they're almost perfectly diamagnetic. And diamagnetic means they repel from a magnet. That's one reason why if you put it on there, it floats. And it's true. So, there are small defects that allow, that allow the magnetism to go in. Okay? But those small defects are not enough to make it swing down. And those those small defects holds the magnet instead. Plus the diamagnetism. And that is called flux pinning. The diamagnetism and holding the magnet in small defects. So it is a bit connected to the magnet. Actually, it's true. So, if you add more powdered metal, make more superconductors. Duh! Okay? So, that's just it. That's all to make superconductors. It takes, the quickest is about 40, no, uh, 59 hours just to make a superconductor. And the slowest is infinity years. Yeah! Because you could just look. Like, super west and snail speed, what? Like that, okay? And also, if you heat too much and you forget you're heating that, and for some reason, a flame goes and you go in heaven and you never see that again, it could still be running. But the flames will heat it until the flames are out, and then. Basically, if you put a magnet on it, if it's or a seven form, when you when you put it in twice, if they get the carbon non-oxide fire extinguishers, and then they accidentally put a magnet on it, I think it will open up until the carbon non-oxide's there, then they can super it up. Okay, bye. So that's all for our video. I'm super knocker, so I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go hide and go pee.